are you undergoing a male infertility treatment and have been so many times have you undergone the semen analysis and still bothered about how to collect the semen properly to get a best results in your semen analysis i am glad sharing these 10 important points of the perfect method of semen collection i am dr ashok shakti fertility do subscribe our channel and leave your comments below for any queries and don't forget to share with your friends semen analysis the this is the most important uh, part of any male infertility treatment and what the results are going to be this is going to reflect in your uh, the future treatment options so we should always have the best semen analysis report and for that we should be very aware of how to collect the semen properly for a normal and excellent semen analysis report so let's walk through it and the point number 9 which i'm going to discuss is the very important thing let's see how it goes so number 1 the container always have a sterile container which has been provided by the infertility center and it should be mostly uh, made up of plastic and do not wash the container with any of the soaps or detergents because these soaps and detergents will naturally affect your sperm motility and the morphology so number 1 the sterile plastic container and do not wash it number two and always keep the container ready before ejaculating because always during the ejaculation we always have a aroused state and then ejaculate and during ejaculation it happens very quickly so that we may not collect the first drop of the semen so the first drop is always rich in abundance of sperms so never miss out the first drop so keep the container ready number three always have a longer arousal time because so much of hormones will act on the epididymal part which that is the where the uh, sperm cell have been stored and that portion usually has the abundance of uh, sperm cells so if you have a lot of arousal before the ejaculation obviously the sperm counts are going to be good number four always cap the container after collection because usually the semen will be spilled over the uh, wide surface of the container and it evaporates quickly so during evaporation we will lose lot of uh, hormones which have been uh, vital for the maintaining a good sperm cell so the hormones also comes down and the sperm motility and the morphology gets affected highly and number five that is the delivery time of the collection point to the lab always it's better practice to inform the laboratory technician uh, pre hand itself before go getting into the lab so that we will maintain a less than 60 minutes of the uh, analysis time to the collecting time point so it's preferably done in a hospital if you are able to uh, if you are not able to do it in the hospital setup you can very well request the laboratory technician to be ready in the hospital so that you can collect it at home and then transport it number 6 the transport temperature so sperm cells are very viable for the high temperature or the low temperature so always keep the uh, sperm at the body temperature preferably uh, covered in, under your jacket and uh, during the transportation time and do not expose it to like when we are traveling in a car or, uh, or the open air or whatever the outside temperature do not expose the containers to the outside temperature number seven the very important thing you should always label it with your name time of collection place of collection and uh, the number of days of abstinence everything you have to label it on the container because usually the container the technician should be aware of all these uh, things because there may be a, a, a bit of variation in reading the parameters number eight always prefix an appointment with your laboratory technician or your andrologist or the consulting doctor before all this uh, uh, workup because it will bring down your anxiety the waiting time in the lab obviously the uh, someone won't be exposed to the external environment for a longer time so prefixing the appointment is very vital number nine the very important thing what i was uh, telling earlier it is that do not use any lubricants or condoms or spermicidal condoms to collect the sperms because a lot of commercially available lubricants and the condoms they are very rich in spermicidal agents so this will obviously kill all the sperms and then it will affect your morphology and the vitality and number 10 
do not wash your external genitals before ejaculation because again the detergents are going to affect all your uh, vital parameters of the sperms. So hope these 10 points will be very important and useful for you. Do not forget to subscribe our channel and please do join us for other informative videos in this Sakti Fertility and Health channel. Thank you so much for watching.